going to angle this down a little bit. And then I'm going to have to bend up the rest of it. Maybe oh, it's so much. Are we good? <laughs> so. So it's not like. Is this not working? That's fantastic. <laughs> it's like modern technology. This is brilliant. I think I'll have that then. Fantastic. There we go. You good with that? Yeah. Fantastic. Cool. Right. Shall we begin? In glooming shards of fading day, town guards stood fast, then stood away. For leaving light on staves and wood, there at this door the rhymer stood. With voice so slight as novice page, one asked, I trust you'll view this stage. Round of applause, and she's done. Very simple. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> the hood framed face for thinking said, You've gifted food, so to the bed. Much more to you, so less than I, is given said such staging by, though truth tell and willing to, much more in will I'm owing you. For this and that, and those within, I'll call the trimeridian. So up and through, said to the throng, most all this town bound there along, deep every side, this dinning weight, like lit by flames and firing grate, from forth the rhymer's striding path, up to full through said burning hearth, his former light, yet focus tame, no silence asked, still silence came, with all around st struck dumbly meek, this burning man began to speak. Be still and hush, see vision plain, as Rhymer, I command this flame. For crafting light and heat as well, to cast said sight of tales to tell. Can I have Tetradin up to the Oki, please? <laughs> now there might be a bit of audience participation in this one. I know you're terrified. Excellent. You should. So when I put my hand in the air, I need everybody to say, to hoof to arms, the claker here. Can we give it a try, please? After three. One, two, three. To hoof to arms, the claker here. Excellent. Excellent. Think you can do that? Good. Some of last time. First tale to tell of kindred sin to friend and stranger held here within, of noble deeds in darkness too, a tale from them through me to you. Look, Tetradin of longing tooth, form battle worn from fighting youth by thinning thread, his kingdom hung, his time though guarded, all had done. His realm, though loamy land of Glane, lay binded by the Claker plain, and steady fighting with that clan had robbed him slowly, man by man, of witting fight and guiling skill, till seats of nobles youth fulfill. This young court, with sightful high, gave a lordly throne the envy eye. So who to send? The ranking long. A tetradin was far from gone. There we go, sorry, double chance. The crumbled skill, skin and sky is spent, the king saw court was chaos bent. They viewed to him this crown as prize. But rightful realms will never rise. Still worse who'd watch the clay hoard if borderland say, talons forward. Then notion gave to sharp insight. His he pick his hair by battle. My time is done, I leave this land. I go to die by sharding hand. Before I do, an heir I'll spy by those who clash but will not die. By two months, moons passing in all sight, one blade takes all by spinder flight. <laughs> now art of spinder seldom used, the hardest training body bruised. No blow may fall from jab or hack but all by twisting round the back. So hard to judge a spinning blow when where the where the shot will go, but hit such force breaks all before. Cat's fearest foe to nevermore. 
On stilted chair, head turning sat, while schooled in spinder, Crindle sat. This younger man had elder kin. He'd lined their graves and filled them in. His woesome cunning blackened heart, in even skulking, stood apart. Upon his throne, upon this throne, his sight would bind. So locked his noble callow mind. Now chance had he to seize the land. No equal man at Spinder stand. Two moons enough for wording spread. Two moons too long, young Crindle said. The sun their secret person sight, no man here half my twisted mind.